today we close the session of the heads of immigration for southern africa representing all the SADAC member states in our region and it is actually encouraging that we manage to find recommendations on the various sections of the agenda of the meeting of great interest is about the gcm where member states have encouraged each other that they should now start to go and actually set up the implementation plan at national level for GCM implementation and being able to report to the SADAC on how they are implementing GCM. The second aspect is about how they can also start to work together as member states in collaboration or in terms of intelligence and information, what information they need to share together so that they can enhance how they can deal with cases of food smuggling and trafficking as a region. The also the most important aspect that was shared by member states it's about how SADAC can also play a key role in coordinating Rome among the member states in supporting them in various initiatives that they've got to do with smuggling in person and also human trafficking. And the other issue that has been raised by other member states is an issue on how to interlink the issue of uh, poverty reduction as a way to address the drivers of migration and also the issue of the research and its role in informing policies has been emphasized by the member states. The issue of migration data was also observed as one of the areas that needs to be critically looked into by member states, where they encourage each other to provide a policy that are actually informed by data, as there is actually no adequate data that is available within the region. And it was also of note that the Africa Capacity Building Center is also available to support the member states in providing capacity building of their officers in various areas of migration, especially on counter smuggling and trafficking in person. The Africa Capacity Building Center also for the African Union they were also were available here to support in the area of research and also in area of counter smuggling and also Interpol provided information on how they can utilize mechanisms that are already existing within the region so that they can also work together as a team with the member states. So we see here a whole inter-regional approach and the regional approach in dealing with issues of trans-organized crime like human trafficking and smuggling in person actually coming into action and cascaded to the grassroots level where implementation is going to be done. But the emphasis that has been provided by most member states is we need to start to practicalize all these recommendations to be practical on the ground and also utilize the current existing capacity and to develop it from where we are as we move towards the idea which is informed by the Global Compact for Migration. And of note that I really enjoyed in this presentation is about how SADAC looked at the all 10 areas in the SADAC migration policy framework and how they inform the way of the narrative of the migration until 2030. And we look forward as IOM to work with SADAC to complement their efforts to achieve this goal. And we believe that together as we work as a team, we can actually walk this journey and achieve it together.